Hello, my name is James Bibb. In my laboratory uh, in the Department of Psychiatry at UT Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas studies neuronal signal transduction. And today my colleagues Florian Plattner and Adon Hernandez and I have recently published a paper in Neuron in which we've revealed a novel mechanism that's essential for learning and memory. And we've demonstrated how we can target this mechanism to enhance cognitive performance. The brain is comprised of 100 trillion synapses. And it's through these synapses that neurotransmission occurs in response to environmental experiences. Neurotransmission is often mediated through the release of a neurotransmitter glutamate. Glutamate binds to a number of receptors, including the NMDA receptor complex. The NMDA receptor complex is comprised of a number of subunits, and there's a particularly interesting subunit called NR2B. NR2B receptors mediate the initial response to environmental experiences and the synaptic remodeling that results in memory formation. In order for NR2B to function, it has to migrate to the surface of the synapse. And we've discovered a mechanism that controls this. The mechanism involves a protein kinase called cyclin-dependent kinase 5, or CDK5. And we found that by selectively targeting CDK5 NR2B interactions, we can drive more NR2B to the cell surface and in this way enhance cognition. Our initial observation was that CDK5 phosphorylated the C-terminus of NR2B. And we hypothesized that this phosphorylation may be important for the trafficking of the receptor. We therefore analyzed the effect of a CDK5 inhibitor on the trafficking of NR2B receptors in hippocampal neuronal cell cultures. When we treated the cells with CDK5 inhibitors, we realized that more NR2B containing NMDA receptors were shuttled to the cell surface. Based on that observation, we assessed the electrophysiological properties of these neurons and realized that there was a higher NR2B component present in these neurons, which is consistent with the fact that there is more NMDA receptors at the cell surface. To understand how CDK5 and NR2B interacted, we conducted a small peptide array analysis. This allowed us to define the regions of NR2B that interacted with CDK5. We then took these regions and used them as the basis for synthesizing small interfering peptides. These peptides were then tested for their ability to disrupt CDK5 and NR2B interactions. I studied the physiological effects of the small interfering peptides on neurotransmission. I performed field recordings in hippocampal slices treated with peptide and found that disruption of NR2B CDK5 interaction enhances neurotransmission. As a control, I tested hippocampal slices from CDK5 knockout mice or slices treated with NR2B inhibitor and found a peptide that had no effect any longer. This result suggests that the peptide specifically targets NR2B CDK5 interaction. To assess the effect of the small interfering peptide on learning and memory, we infused the peptide into the dorsal hippocampus of rodents and assessed their learning and memory behavior. When we infused the peptide, we saw that the rodents performed much better in, in learning and memory tasks. To evaluate whether this peptide also could be beneficial for age-dependent memory decline, we infused the peptide in aged mice, and we saw the same effect. Our findings demonstrate a novel mechanism which is critical to the formation of memories. And we also show that this mechanism can be targeted to enhance cognition. This provides hope of new therapies to treat cognitive disorders such as Alzheimer's disease.